Good morning. You're watching the morning news on CNN News 18. I am Anjali Pandey, and over the next hour, we'll take you through the top stories from across the country and the world. Starting off the bulletin with some big breaking news that's coming in from the state of Kerala, where at least 22 people have drowned after a houseboat carrying around 40 passengers capsized at the Tanur area of Kerala's Mallapuram on Sunday evening. Now, the death toll stands at 22, and more people are believed to be trapped under the boat. The efforts are on to bring the capsized boat to the shore. Meanwhile, NDRF team has also been deployed at the spot. So we have this breaking news coming in from Kerala where at least 22 people have uh, drowned after a houseboat carrying around 40 passengers capsized at the Tanur area of Kerala's Mallapuram on Sunday evening. CNN News 18's Neetu is joining us to give us more details. Neetu, can you tell us more about this incident that took place in Mallapuram yesterday? See, last night at around 7.30 is when this unfortunate incident had happened, a shocking tragedy. What we know, what is officially confirmed is that 22 people have lost their lives. Eight people have been rescued who were in the boat and they are in the hospital. Uh, and the condition of four is uh, pretty serious is what we are understanding at the moment. Now, the biggest trouble is for the officials also is that they're not really sure how many people were in that boat. Uh, because uh, there, there are there were small children, these children need not take tickets. So that is something which they are concerned about. So this morning also, what the district collector said is that they feel that there were around 35 people. The search, the rescue operations is still going on. But exactly for them to give out a number, they really don't know how many people were there in that boat. So around 35 is what they're think, uh, expecting is what the district collector of Malapuram has said this morning. Now, the chief minister is heading towards Kanur. Two ministers, the Abdurrahman and uh, Mohammad Riyaz, were given the responsibility for coordinating. So, this incident happened at around 7:30 p.m. This boat, uh, it is, it has two decks: the upper deck where you can stand, and the lower deck where the passengers uh, can sit. So there were a lot of people. It is vacation time and it was a Sunday evening. So there were a lot of people, including a lot of children. And even in these 22 people that uh, died, there are children in that. So at this moment also, the and what happened last night is that it happened at around 7.30 p.m. So definitely the lighting was a major issue. Uh, they were not able to really... Uh, uh, dive into the re rescue operations immediately at the moment because the lighting was a major issue. The fishermen in the area, along with their boats, came out and tried to help. The fire force, the police, all of them tried to come in. But initially, what uh, what when we spoke to people on the field who were a part of the rescue operations, what they were saying is that the light was a major issue for them. They tried to rescue as many people. Uh, those who, who were in the uh, upper deck just completely turned over. Uh, over over is what we are understanding. So what uh, when we ask the reasons, the officials are saying that we are investigating into it. We are not really sure what re really happened. So we'll have to find out and we can say only after the investigation. But what the locals and who were part of those uh, rescue operations, what they say is that uh, safety equipment were not really there. Uh, like the, the people that they pulled out, even the initial ones, none of them had any life jackets on them. And there's also allegation that this was not really a tourist boat uh, it was uh, it was uh, 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 it was like a fishing boat and then it was converted but this also the officials have not really con uh, really confirmed this is what locals are seeing on the ground early morning now they have restarted the rescue operations uh, looking for more people uh, uh, people within uh, among the death also there are people within a family belonging to one family more than one people belonging to one family a very 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 tragic incident uh, that has happened in Malapuram district, uh, the chief minister is headed towards Malapuram to, to this area where uh, the incident has happened. Well, absolutely, Neetu. And also, is the death toll expected to rise further? See, uh, that is what, uh, see, as of now, initially what we got to know from uh, citizens uh, officials was that the death toll is definitely rising. But right now, what they are uh, saying is that uh, they're not exactly sure how many people were in that boat. So, uh, so they're not really sure because, see, right now, hours have passed. 
so even if somebody is there uh, finding them uh, alive is 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 not something that anybody thinks can happen at this time because ours have passed under water they are even using underwater cameras in the search but uh, the biggest uh, problem or the biggest concern uh, that the officials are sharing is that they still not been able to identify how many people are there so so far they have not received any missing complaints is what uh, uh the um, uh, the officials are saying but at the same time as you said there are people belonging to one family so if all of them um, were in that boat together then that again is a concern so they are still looking if there is in the nearby areas also uh, and we what we heard from locals is that uh, one family has uh, said that one young boy is missing so they are uh, looking for that also so we're not really sure whether the numbers will increase right now because the officials are also not sure but they don't want to leave it they want to do a thorough search of the entire area all right neetu and also has any ex grisha been announced by the government for those who lost their lives in this uh, accident uh, no, uh, from uh, the the prime minister while tweeting yesterday has uh, announced uh, this but uh, uh, so far from the state government we we haven't seen but as i said the chief minister is heading that way it is a major tragedy and once he uh, reaches there uh, we'll have to see but as of now um, uh, what we know is that the chief minister is headed that way he has immediately given directions for the district administration two ministers were put on duty uh, health uh, minister also uh, uh, were uh, doing whatever they can to release the bodies of these people at the earliest so all those activities uh, are ongoing government has uh, uh, stayed all their uh, stopped all their official programs today um because of this tragedy because uh, paying uh, their respect to uh, all those who have lost their lives and today um they are observing this day uh, in uh, uh, memory of those people who have lost their lives also neetu as per reports the boat was plying beyond the official deadline of 5 pm when it sank around 7 pm yesterday so who is likely to be held accountable for this Uh, definitely the uh, boat owner will be held accountable for this because this has this uh, this mistake or this uh, this has cost us the uh, cost life for so many people to so the official time uh, well beyond that uh, they were uh, going this happened around 7:30 pm and this was the last service is what we were told but even then it, it was going well beyond the time that has been given and as i said that definitely was a major issue in the rescue operations also they were having the problem with the life initially when they reached there so that has hampered the rescue operations also the boat owner will definitely be booked uh, 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 for this uh, is uh, what we are understanding also need